Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome <laughs> back to Man of Wrath, episode 55 with me, Sid. <clears throat> Sorry, a little foggy in my throat there. And, uh, yeah, something managed... Oh, I see. You managed to walk across the fire, didn't you? Yes, you did. You you just you just walked you just walked across that, didn't you? Well, I'm I'm not doing this for you every time. If you're going to be stupid, you know you've got to get your own first aid kit. But um, anyway, so last episode we built these two magnificent, if somewhat empty and incomplete, warehouses over here in the dock area of the city and uh, between episodes I have added a number of more buildings over there one there one there this magnificent building that one there's a little bit more over there I have continued on and built in more of the path that is coming all the way over here and is raking it down as far as here. I've filled in that hole. I turned that into a lake. Um, you can see where the path actually still is. Uh, we still need to connect that up somehow. And I think I may... I may come around this side past the... Um, the armor ritual thing and around here rather than go around that side um oh we need to put a few more bits and pieces in but i need to start wrapping this season up uh and there is a very simple reason for that so um let me just while i'm yesterday if all went according to plan, and we all know about plans, a vintage story server spun up, which is the Rusty Gears SMP, and it's and this is an established multiplayer server. Uh, oh, hello. Um, of you know established vintage story let's players and streamers and I've been hinting for the last couple of weeks that there was some news and the news is I've been invited to join them on season three of the Rusty Gears SMP which I have accepted and I will be playing consequently on the Rusty Gears SMP um, now because it's a multiplayer server and because it's on all the time my plan is to is to try and do do the work clever uh, do the playing clever even right, and just do that and and the what I mean by doing to playing clever is, is quite simple um, I want to Excuse me. I want to play repeatedly throughout the week, so when I'm not recording something else, I will be, you know, on this. <clears throat> Go on, come. <sighs> Stupid. Let me just try and drop them there and see if he'll... I don't want them. So, yeah, play throughout the week. Um, and, and record episode. But that means that my my recording time is going to be reduced somewhat. Um, so I need, realistically, now to start wrapping up Manor and Brass. Um, I don't know whether it's going to take me one episode or two episodes, but it is going to be happening sooner rather than later. Um, you know, this, this needs to come to a successful conclusion and I can sit here and fiddle around with 
villagers and the likes all day and you know it doesn't really add anything to the finished product of of, uh, of what I would call you know this particular build an area that I have built the Port Valentine town if you like um, so I think it's going to be coming to an end sooner rather than later I, I don't have any solid number of episodes or plans in mind it will be when I am happy and that this is done now in terms of borrowing buildings I think I'm more or less done um, all of you know this this is now starting to look more like a metropolis and we can get lots of this and, and get it seeded out I can plant some more of these gardens and downs and little bits and, and start just working on the finished article I need to finish off those uh, those things over there the warehouses and we just need to put a little finishing touch there I'm not going to bother with the tower on the top there I don't think it's necessary um, so episode maybe two maybe three uh, and we'll be closing this one down in the meantime I will also be getting involved with the uh, the rusty gears players and there's a there's a lot of players on that server so you'll be hopefully introduced to a number why is that oh that does not make sense that does not make any sense at all let's stop that here like so that's better and then we can just do that so yeah my first job today is going to be getting the roads of this area finished off and i need to therefore get rid of that and, and and link this in more sensibly over this side i think but um i'm gonna get some of this done we're going to work on some of the farms i'll throw a few more farm plots in we'll then start to look at landscaping and we'll probably finish off with that uh with that area over here if i can but let me let oh and a courtyard there maybe maybe with um, something to stop things walking over those fires maybe not who knows they'll learn but um yeah let me uh let me continue and i shall be back in a little while all right so paths are all done uh i am just texturizing them a little bit i love this spell <laughs> This is like, oh, let me just make some changes without actually having to go anywhere near the blocks. It's, it's liberating. The villagers are stupid. Half of them have wandered off in and died over there, over in the forest of doom. Uh, I cannot figure out why they are suicidal, but, um, it doesn't matter because there's loads of them this courtyard is now done um, I, I I put down I put, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 villagers into the mix um, so I think from the perspective I know that was not right but from the perspective of this area other than maybe a few trees around the place which let's be honest that's just a matter of planting some saplings and and doing some uh, bone mealing realistically I think we can more or less draw a line on the on the village metropolis you know we've got we've got everything in there that I think we need to worry about throw in some lamp posts I've made the farms I think all of the farms are now readjusted to be 
villager safe because the, the one thing the problem with villagers is they trample their own farms they're idiots uh, the other problem with these is golems will wander in and probably trample bits of it as well because they're stupid but again this is this is realistically just finishing off that aspect now I have a few things I would like to try and do over here so I still need to place a few properties over there I think I will just kidnap some villager buildings for these I think that should be more than adequate um, these however I do want to do something with and the first thing I think I need to do is randomize some of these boards up then I think we need to get some doors up here we need to get some things and I've got a few things I want to add for just kinetic kind of energy looks on this so let me start off with the trapdoors uh, uh, I need more more oak trapdoors of that variety uh, do I I suppose I could always just go I've got birch I don't like the Akacha trapdoors at all but I yeah I'll probably need to make more oak trapdoors if I'm honest there you go a little little bit more of that and we can take those we can take those throw a few of those in that can go in as well that can go in uh, and that should do things I just need to go and use the table over at the uh, home base and we okay let's um Let's just go and turn these into more suitable trapdoors. Where's my carpentry table? There you go. I would like those to be that. I'd like. Uh, we'll keep those as they are. I'd like those to be that. And those to be that as well. That can stay. That can stay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We'll have those for that as well. There we go. I, I think. I think that will do, and then we'll just use swapsies to change the uh, the boardwalk around there. And uh, <coughs> and then we can start populating this area with things. You know. And again, if I had time, or you know, if I was if I was really going, to had some longevity to this series, I'd probably stick a boat in here as well. Um, just because I think it would look good um, but for now no that's not what we wanted okay that's uh, swapsies is not going to help us in this case okay well today I learned it's a shame it doesn't copy the meta tag of position well it should be presumably something in the MBT tags but um, yeah but we can just do that this is fine um, so we've got this to throw down there and a few more random blocks oops hello Just a few, I mean, I might leave that so the other one standing proud as well because it just kind of gives a three dimensional texture as well to the place. Like that. Um, so we've got that to do. We need to stock the warehouses and I need to put, as I said, this kinetic energy into the place. Plus, I think some lanterns wouldn't go amiss. Uh, luckily, I have plenty of them. They add a nice glow to the place, don't they? Take that. 
and then I've got nine, so we can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, it doesn't matter if we lose these at this stage in the game. We've got so much resources. It's silly. But um, there we go. Then we can get a bit of that one down. Boop. Boop. A little bit of this one down. One, two, three, four, and a five. Boop. 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 Uh, anyway, the rest of my boops over there, I think. There's a boop there. And a boop there. Got a little bit of this. Boop. 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 Little bit of this. Two. Three. Boop. 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 There's no pattern to this by the way this is just me picking things I won't say at random because I don't actually oops hello humans don't actually tend to do things at random when we think there are subconscious decisions and biases taking place when we do these um, when we do these kind of things. So when I'm sat over here and I go, oh, I need to put something at random, and then I'm going, but that looks wrong. So that is, and, and tr obviously that's actually not random. That's, uh, there are conscious decisions being made. So yeah, it's uh, interesting. Do that like that. Uh, a little bit there. And maybe one there. Boop, like that. That works. Right, so what I need to do next is I'm going to need some shafts. I'm going to need some pulleys, which I think are like that. I want them to be four, maybe, I think four, maybe three. Let me just have a look. Would it make it? Uh, maybe you just have one actually, or two. Maybe we just go with two. So my thoughts kind of run to the idea that you have winches to bring things up. Um, like that, and and then you winch them up the pallet will be through ah uh, me yeah, maybe if it will be three one there let's just try this so we'll do that and that and then we need to bring the block through the middle like so and we need to get yeah, okay. I'll do this on one side and then we'll uh, do this on the other. I need some gearboxes. Uh, luckily, I have lots, and you need to be a vertical gearbox, so you will go like that. And then we need another vertical gearbox which is going to go there. No. There. Actually. I think I prefer it there. Uh, we'll have that there. We will have a crank. Actually, we'll need a few of those. So one, two, three, four. And that will go there or there, depending on who's. Yeah, so that's, and then we need a, a gear. A uh, uh, gear shift, two of those. 
that will go there. And we will have levers. Not levers, sorry, I've been dealing with staff. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, let me just try that again. So pop that there. Like that. Up, down, and shafts. So then I want some andesite casings to block that in. And do the same over there. And then we just need to create some platforms which are okay. I'm going to pull that together, I think. Again, we'll use, if I use trapdoors, uh, and I use the oak ones because I like the oak ones, and we'll stick those on the bottom. Oops, hello. So that's the middle. Like that. And I'll do, I'll, I'll set this one up as well while I'm at it, because why not? So that's your, your lift pallet mechanism. Oh, hello, bang. Uh, and then we just need to stop them, don't we? Okay, let me sort this out. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I think that is probably about it for the warehouse area, actually. So I, I've basically have piled produce everywhere this is like a big unloading dock we've got a warehouse this is produce food and the likes lots of cobwebs and if we come over here and um, we can lower you down um, till you get down to the bottom where obviously uh, dock workers can load this all up and then you know you come the guys up here bring it back up when it's up here they can open this up and start unloading that into here that's the premise down here we've got some barrels a bit of charcoal some logs iron on the other side i've gone with ores and building materials so yeah i i, I am happy with that it's, the lighting is subdued it it has the kind of look and feel that i want for this so the the last bit to do over here is really just populate this area uh, as i say i'm happy with that area i i it could do with some landscaping but i would be landscaping for the just the hell of it i don't think it's going to improve it greatly put a few trees and stuff in maybe but you know that's kind of it um Similarly, I should probably have kind of cluttered up this stock area a little bit, but but again, you know, there's as you wander around, and whenever you do builds, I'm sure you are all the same. Whenever you're building these things, you get into the habit of of overanalyzing what you're building, and you end up wanting to keep adding more and more. I have got no idea if any of my villagers have wandered over this way again, and decided to join the ranks of the dead i mean one of them actually managed to get all the way over there before he got killed in fact there you go there's one now i don't know what he thinks he's doing out here i don't know why he's out here i don't know what his objective in life is there's something going on here and i'm not entirely sure what because Either they are invisible, or well, there's one, there's the other, but there's one over here that I cannot see for the life of me. And he's definitely about, but it's almost like he's got under underground. I really don't know what he's managed to do. So, yeah, there's a lot of landscaping we could do, um, but I'm trying to avoid landscaping just for this year sake of landscaping to finish off the season landscaping is 
it's one of those things that I have a kind of a love-hate relationship with. I, I don't mind it too much. Oh, look at that. It's almost fully oxidised. That looks really nice. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. I, I, I do enjoy it. Um, sometimes, all the time. Hang on, I've just noticed something I do need. Ugh, right, let me, uh, that's not what I wanted. No, I want you. Get me some dirt. That, that, I did not know, realise I didn't left that horrible hole there. But there you go, that's all sorted. Um, yeah, so I think what I will probably do is I will, between episodes, I'll populate this area around here with just some more structures. We'll, we'll aim to wrap this up next episode episode 56 that will probably be um a quick tour well not a quick tour quite a lengthy tour of everything we've built because we have whilst i have borrowed a lot of structures we built an awful lot of structures ourselves i mean with the exception of these little borrowed village structures you know that 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 this 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 most of the big structures in here are, are my own, you know. Some of them, or the vast majority, have been built in creative and then superimposed using um, cannon to do it. But that is all built by hand, um, actually from an inspiration from a photo. I, I'm really happy with the way this has worked out. Um, but I think next episode is time to say farewell. Goodbye, Alvida Vida Sane. Um, because as I say, I want to be able to concentrate a goodly amount of time onto the vintage story, uh, Rusty Gear server. Um, and, I, you know, this is starting to take up more and more time. Um, and it's, I don't think it's adding anything to the build now. I think we're, we're largely at the end of this one. So... This episode may be a little shorter than usual. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing because I have a habit of waffling on and I'm sure you all noticed. <laughs> if you haven't, where have you been? Um, but on that note, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now.